Hello and welcome to our last part of our risk battle probabilities. Uh, so I have the table up here. Again, these probabilities represent the probabilities on uh, specific branches of our tree diagram. So I'm going to keep referring to this table over and over again. Now this is the table that we have right now. Notice that we just have the probabilities of simple battles like a three on two or a one on two. Uh, but what I want to do is complete the table I want to do the fourth column for the for the attacker to have four dice and the defender to have three dice I want to complete that row and column and again I want to work up to completing the six on four probability uh, keep in mind that this this probability table is the probability for someone to eventually win or lose you don't stop anywhere like if uh, the attacker can't stop in the middle of the battle. It's it's all or nothing. So uh, let's move on. Now this is the prob or I'm sorry, this is the tree diagram that we have set up right now. And notice that some of these um, I kind of know already. I know that three on one. Um, I know what else. It would be nice if I know that four on one. If I knew the four on one, it would make this tree diagram a little bit easier. So let's see what we can do. Now the four on one battle. All right, we're going to start with the attacker has four dice and the defender has one. We can the attacker can win one with that probability, or the attacker can lose one with the probability of 0 0.34028. So this is what we have left over. Now notice that in the top, the attacker has one because the defender has zero dice. All right, and then on the bottom, you have a three-on-one. We already know the probability of winning a three-on-one battle which is 0.91637. Multiply through those branches and you get the probability 0.31182. So what we're going to do is add these two probabilities together because they both represent the attacker succeeding in their battle. Add those together and we get the 0.97154. A four on two battle. Our attacker has four dice, defender has two. Uh, there are three different scenarios here. You can win twice with that probability, you can w lose twice with that probability, and you can go one on one. So the attacker wins one, the defender wins one. And that's the probability. So this is what happens after that round. So if you go on from a two on two battle, we know the probability of that from our table, uh, 0.36265, the table that we've been creating. All right, multiply through those branches, and we get the probability of 0 0.10610, so about a 10% chance. Uh, three on one battle, we know the probability of that, and when we multiply through those branches, we get 0 0.30770. And the top one is already done because the defender has no more dice. So you add those three probabilities together, and we have a final probability of a four on two battle, 0.78. Five, four, six. Now a five on two battle, again there's the three branches. You can win twice, lose twice, or go one on one. Uh, again, all those numbers are going to be the same for those three branches. Uh, now this is what happens after that round. Here the defender has lost because of the zero. Now the four on one we know the probability of winning already, but I just wanted to, to see what it looks like if I kept going with the branches. So from a four on one, we can win once with 0.6597, or we can lose once, 0.3403. Now if you win the one, the defender has zero die, dice, and you, you're done. Uh, the three on one, oh, and by the way, if you multiply the branches together, the 0.33578 times the 0.6597, we get the 0.22151. Now for the three on one battle, we already know the probability of that, and when we multiply through those three branches, we get 0 0.104711. And the three on two battle, down here we already know the probability, 0 0.65596, multiply those two together and we get about 19%. So we add up all four of these numbers, because they all represent success for the attacker, Add those together and we get 0 0.88979.
So I'm going to throw all of those in the table here. We did the 4-on-1, the 4-on-2, and the 5-on-2. Uh, I have that 5-on-1 spot up here. I just want to do that quickly. But let's just go over what we have right now. That 4-on-1 battle, we now can replace. So the 4-on-2 we can replace because uh, we just finished that one. And you can see that it made our tree diagram a little less messy. I was able to replace three branches. I also know the four on one. Um, so I also filled that in for those two spots. All right, so again, I want to do that five on one. So you can win once or lose once. Now when you win the once or win once, the defender has no more dice. You won the battle. The four on one down here, we already know the probability. So multiply through those branches, add up all our probabilities that lead to success, and there's the probability of a 5 on 1. Again, that should say 5 on 1. All right, uh, now row 3, the when the defender has 3 dice. We'll just go through this quickly. I'm not going to explain each step because we've now seen this a few times. Now notice here the uh, there was only one branch that led to success, so that was the 0 0.02702. All right, filled that into the table. Now a two-on-three battle. Okay, add those two together. Notice that the branch that we lose two actually led to you the attacker losing so we only add those two together and we have the probability of 0 0.20606 all right so i filled in those two spots all right a 3 on 3 here we have all three branches will lead to success so i will add those three numbers together and there's our probability for three on three. So I place that into the table. All right, so what do we know now? Let's go back here. We know a three on one, three on two, three on three. All right, I actually see a three on three, so I might be able to remove that um, right there. Uh, but let's let's keep going and see what else we can get. Now a five on three battle. Notice that there's my five on three battle. If I can figure that one out, I would get rid of all of that, uh, all those branches. So let's go ahead and do the five on three. So we have the five on three. We have three branches. Okay, same as always. Uh, these are what's left over. So if we follow through on the middle branch, that's our probability. Follow on the the lower branch, that's our final probability. And the top branch, that's our final probability. So add these three together. And there's our probability for a 5 on 3. So let's go ahead and place that in the table. Now all of a sudden that massive tree diagram coming from the 5 on 3 is now reduced down to just the 0.76938. And this is how we're going to keep doing this. So notice that we have the 4 on 4 and the 6 on 2. If I can figure out those probabilities, I will simplify this tree diagram uh, quite a bit. So four on three, notice I'm actually don't have a four on three on my tree diagram, but I just, just I want to fill in the table. So I'm gonna just run through this quickly. Add those three together, and there's our probability of a four on three. So I just wanted to make that table, uh, at least that row complete. Now for the rest of them, I'm not going to show you because we're just following the same steps over and over again. So when I fill in the, the remaining, what is that, it's eight spots, the only one I have left is the six on four. So here's our six on four tree diagram. Notice that it will reduce down to this. Um, now the you can win two, you can lose two, or you can go one on one. Those are, you know, that's the only way that you can do this round. But once we've done that round, we have those three probabil or uh, those three remaining battles, and we've already completed the probabilities for those battles. So if you win the top branch, that's your probability. Go through the middle branch, that's our probability, and down the bottom branch, and that's our probability. 
So when you add those three together, you're going to get 0.7488. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the table. And now our table is complete. If you want to move on and do a 10 on 4, uh, 7 on 7, you would just keep going with this table.